Hey guys, it's Harrison and Evan from the Wildlife Brothers. And as you guys may know, winter wildlife can be pretty sparse here in eastern Pennsylvania. But today, we're going to be showing you one of the most common mammal species we have here, the Eastern Gray Squirrel. Let's take a look. This is the Eastern Gray Squirrel, or Ciaris carolinensis, a small arboreal rodent species that can reach up to 22 inches in length and live for 6 to 12 years in the wild. This species is native to the eastern and midwestern United States, but they have been introduced to the western U.S. and to Britain. The ideal habitat of the eastern gray squirrel is dense woodlands with lots of tree cover, like you see here. Like most squirrel species, these guys are arboreal, meaning they spend most of their time up in the trees. However, they do come down to feed, which is what this little guy is doing right now. Primarily herbivorous, these guys feed mostly on nuts, seeds, berries, and tree bark, although on occasion they will be known to eat mushrooms. Now the eastern gray squirrel is what's called an active forager, meaning that they come out and search for their food during the day. These squirrels make a number of vocalizations, and we were lucky enough to get a number of these on camera. Eastern gray squirrels vocalize for a number of reasons, notably to warn other squirrels of a predator or to signal their location. Now let's take a look at the anatomy of the eastern gray squirrel. Now you can see those big eyes and large ears right in the center of their head. These guys are prey for a lot of different predator species, and they've evolved these organs so they can detect their predators effectively. Those whiskers that you see at the front of their face are sensory organs so they can feel the world around them. Now as we look further down their body, we see that coarse gray coat. They use that for protection from the cold, and it can serve as camouflage. These guys are actually very effective climbers, so their claws and their feet are modified to help them grip to the bark. And they also use those long tails as counterbalances for when they're climbing through the trees, they can actually help balance themselves walking on thin branches. These guys are adept climbers, and they can rotate their ankles nearly 180 degrees, which allows them to climb down trees head first. This little ball of leaves is a squirrel's nest, more properly referred to as a dray. We found a lot of these while we were out exploring because this is where the squirrels live during the winter. So we wanted to get you guys a bit of a closer look at the squirrel's nest up in the tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna climb up this tree here, and we're going to take a much better look at the nests from a squirrel's perspective. Okay, so we are up here in the tree and we're taking a close look at the dray here. So, this is the squirrel's nest. So you can see it's made of all of these dead leaves and branches. And actually, this is a very insulating material. So there are actually two squirrels living in this dray. And one of them is hanging out right over there. So we did scare them a little bit, but us being up here will not harm them in any way. We have not touched the dray at all, so we aren't going to be hurting them. But we just wanted to get you guys an up-close look at something most people never see. Aside from their nests, eastern gray squirrels love hollowed out trees like this one. They use these holes to seek refuge from the harsh elements and also from their many predators. Despite most people thinking of them as pests, eastern gray squirrels are actually super important for the ecosystem as they provide energy for a lot of the predators in higher trophic levels. So talking about backyard wildlife, we are literally in our backyard right now. So why are we filming here? Well, as you guys can see, even in our own backyard, we have this squirrel's nest or dray over here. And what we're trying to show you is just how close these guys will actually get to human settlements. As we continue to develop new communities and take more and more land away from local forests, the animals have no choice but to venture closer to these unfamiliar communities just to try and find a place to live. So if you guys do see a squirrel in your own backyard, it's important that you don't treat them as a pest. They're an integral part of our ecosystem here, so it's important that you treat them with respect and give them their proper distance. We hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about the Eastern Gray Squirrel. If you did, be sure to like this video and leave us a comment down below telling us which wildlife you would like us to cover in the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe! We have a lot more exciting content coming to you guys very soon, so stay tuned! See you later, guys!